Hey there, this is Dr. Anna Maria Hill, herbalist and microbiologist at osada.com. And for those of you who watch my videos, you might notice a different background. <laughs> I just did an in-town move, so that's why things look a little different behind me. And so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, medicinal mushroom foraging at the grocery stores in preparation for an hour-long live uh, interactive Zoom class that I'm teaching on the topic on Wednesday the 30th of June. So if you're interested in getting in on that, you can zip over to osada.com and click on classes and sign up there. So O-S-A, S is in Sam, O-S-A-D-H-A, -A. so S is in Sam, D is in dog, osada.com. But for now, just a little bit of a teaser. So in general, edible mushrooms are you know, rich in useful proteins. Uh, they contain most or all essential amino acids and B vitamins, vitamin D, multiple antioxidants, multiple anti-inflammatory mycochemicals, mushroom chemicals. Um, but did you know that edible mushrooms are all also medicinal. You'll often see mushrooms referred to as edible or medicinal, but if you've got an edible mushroom on hand, it is in fact medicinal. And so you don't need to be a wild mushroom forager to take advantage of this quality um, or spend a fortune on expensive commercial mushroom supplements to get medicinal benefits, or at least some of them, from mushrooms. And so a simple trip to the produce aisle in your local grocery store will often suffice. And so, um, you know, again, I'm not going to get into all of the grocery store mushroom foraging you can do, but I thought um, today I would just talk quickly about one mushroom and then you can join me on Wednesday the 30th and learn about the medicinal benefits of the other mushrooms you can find at the grocery store, including that ubiquitous white seemingly boring button mushroom. It actually is medicinal, believe it or not. But for today, let's talk about uh, enoki mushrooms or enoki taki mushrooms. You might know this simply as enoki mushrooms. You might know it as the golden needle mushroom. Uh, enoki is actually uh, in Japan the name of the Japanese hackberry tree and so this mushroom will commonly grow on the stumps of that tree in the wild. Now, um, take by the way, so enoki take, take means mushroom in Japanese. So shiitake, maitake, matsutake. Enoki taki. Taki is mushroom. So if we say something like enoki taki mushroom, we're being redundant. <laughs> we're saying enoki mushroom mushroom. Anyway, um, you if you're familiar with this mushroom, you're most likely familiar with the cultivated version. It looks like a little straw. They're very thin with tiny little pin cushion caps. They're white. So um, a lot of you might be nodding right now like, oh yeah, I know those. Um, they're often found in things like wonton soup, <laughs> um, and but in the wild they're actually a stunning, like flamey kind of rose, yellowish, orange color. And in fact, the botanical name Flamulina means small flame. They're really pretty. Uh, the the full botanical name is Flamulina volutes or volutipes. Forgive my Latin. Uh, and the second word means covered in hair. So it's kind of a funny name, a little flame covered in hair, uh, but really pretty mushroom in the wild. And it's interesting how strikingly different the mushrooms look in the wild versus when cultivated. And a big part of that difference comes from the carbon dioxide level when these are grown commercially. Um, but they're really neat mushrooms. They're pretty in the wild and uh, they are, they're tough. They'll even grow up through snow. So pretty hardy mushrooms. Uh, a quick word in terms of enoki mushrooms as food, don't eat them raw. So if you're served a salad, for instance, with raw enoki mushrooms in them, pick them out. Uh, there is a toxin that is destroyed by cooking in the mushroom. Uh, so you don't want to eat the mushrooms raw. And this is really true for mushrooms in general. They're not uh, very easy to digest when they are raw. So same thing if you happen to go somewhere and they have raw button mush mushrooms on a salad, just pick them out. Your body can't really handle digesting them raw. Anyway, uh, once cooked, enoki is nutritious just like every other edible mushroom is uh, and delicious. In terms of medicine, this is a well-respected tonic mushroom in places such as China, 
and Japan in traditional Chinese medicine. It is used for what we would call in the West stomach ulcers. <laughs> so it's used by eating it several times a week to help deal with stomach ulcers. And in terms of the research part of that, scientists have found that enoki mushrooms actually inhibit the bacterium uh, Helicobacter pylori, which is the causative bacteria in stomach ulcers. So this bacteria um, lives in the stomach, and, which is amazing. It can actually survive in that environment, but it will kind of grow along the stomach mucous membrane and it changes the pH of that local area. Our stomach's very acidic, right? Uh, these bacteria make the, that part of the stomach wall more alkaline and um, so the bacteria can live, but that also starts to degrade the mucous membrane and allows um, the stomach acid to penetrate through to the stomach wall and hence an ulcer. So this mushroom, at least one of the ways it may help with ulcers is by killing the causative bacteria, but th it's possible that there are other things that the mushroom does to help heal that lining. Um, also in traditional Chinese medicine, this mushroom has been used for support with various types of liver disease. Um, it's also used to help people, people better manage food allergies, which, you know, in the least can be annoying, but food allergies can actually be quite dangerous. And so you eat them several times a week cooked for their immune modulating properties. Now, if you have a deathly allergy to peanuts, what you're not going to do is eat peanuts and then eat a shitload of enoki mushrooms thinking it's gonna save your butt. No, we're not talking about using this as a way to eat something that you are deadly allergic to. But if you have mild allergies that are really annoying, say you get really mucusy when you eat something, um, or itchy or whatever, um, play around with this mushroom and see if it helps with that or other types of allergies. Uh, uh, you know, d dog dander, for instance, or seasonal. Um, and then, like all other mushrooms tested in the lab, enoki does contain compounds that have anti-cancer effects, at least in terms of being able to kill cancer cells in a dish. And like I always say, that may or may not reflect the actual reality of whether something will be useful against a real tumor, but that is normally how anti-cancer substances are initially screened, looking at them uh, against cancer cells in a dish. Uh, although it's known that uh, enoki mushroom growers in Japan actually do have lower cancer levels. And this is attributed to frequent consumption of the mushroom. It's you know something that they work with and are eating. And so uh, that is some tidbits on enoki. And if you wanna geek out more on medicinal mushroom foraging in your local grocery store, tune in on Wednesday, June 30th. It's 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, and like I said, you can sign up on my website, www.osada.com. And thanks for tuning in.